What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, bought this catchy mosquito trap because it wasn't that expensive and it had decent reviews. Uh, as you know, it's the summer and you're going outside and you know what, no matter what, uh, there are bugs. No matter how much um, preparation you do, like I do, and I treat my yard with mosquito um, spray and, you know, bifin and all that jazz, you still get mosquitoes because they fly and swarm and they invade your space. But I bought this thing. Uh, I'm not sure if it's any good. It kind of looks like a Mac Pro. It's this little tubular thing. It's actually a lot smaller than I thought it might be. It does come with a power brick here and it has a USB port on it and it comes with a USB cord. So you could power this thing off a laptop, I'm guessing, but it has kind of a laptop-like plug there. Uh, so this will plug in. It's not very long, it's only a few feet, so you might have to use an extension cord. But it kind of looks like an outdoor speaker. We have a perforated grill on the bottom here. You can see the cone in the middle there, and that goes all the way around. What I think it does is it supposedly, um, I guess there's two modes. These are actual physical buttons. Strong mode, silent mode, looks like there's some LED lights. Is that somehow this, uh, the light here, the UV light I think, will attract the bugs, and then this, fan in there kind of looks like a little airplane turbine is draws them in and traps them down in the bottom so you have to have the fan running otherwise they just kind of fly out again and then we have the power plug right here and it looks like we have a, a switch here push and that will hopefully drop out the bottom I guess that's how you clean these suckers out so you can see it kind of works like a lobster trap looks like it blows them into the bottom here and then they will generally get caught in this area I wish this whole thing came out so you could kind of hose the thing out a little bit. But. And so what I guess you do here too is once you pop this open, you open this up. It's a glue board, I guess, this catchy thing. I thought it was like a coaster. And you put that on the bottom and that, you know, as the mosquitoes get blown in here, this will kind of catch them. So there's two of them in here. There you go. Finally got the top off. Man, it is sticky. It's not just like, it's, it, it's like adhesive, but it's kind of sticky like glue kind of sucks a little <laughs> it's sticking to my fingers I'm just gonna lay it in the bottom there just like that now I gotta plug it in and put it outside let's see what we catch tonight so I just put this on the ground I plugged it into the wall here and as you can see I turned it on to strong mode I can hear and see the fan spinning I might not be able to see it too well there but you can also see that that middle portion is lit up with the ultraviolet light I think it's ultraviolet it's not super bright but it Definitely it's kind of a northwestern purple. Let's see if we catch any bugs tonight. Okay guys, just woke up and uh, took a look at this catchy trap. And man, I've got a lot more bugs in it than I thought. Actually, I um, went to bed and it was really windy and a little bit rainy. And so I didn't expect, honestly, much caught in it because uh, when it's windy, uh, the bugs just can't really fly. And uh, man, caught a lot of moths. Uh, looks like there's a bunch of mosquitoes in there too. So, yeah, I guess the thing works. And I would also say the key is this little sticky pad on the bottom is totally necessary. Uh, I wouldn't want to, since some of these still look like they're not quite dead, um, it's a nice, easy way to get rid of them. Just dump this sucker out. But, wow, I'm actually really impressed. Way more impressed than... I thought I was going to be. Check it out. I'll put a link to it in the description. Peter Von Panda out.